Hey everybody, how are you? Okay, here I am. I have the balloon right here. But it's a super special one. Today it's my brother-in-law birthday. So uh, I asked my sister what he uh what is his favorite animal? And he said panda bears. He loves panda bears. So uh she sent me a picture, that picture. And I thought, oh, that's a cute one. So I tried to make um a panda bear just like the in the picture. So this is what I it came. And we're gonna do this. So it's a super cute design and you don't need to use uh, glue. That's really cool, right? Look. So let's do that. Uh, it's going to be a long video probably here, yeah, but I think it's worth it. Now, I don't have any more black 350. This one is special for my brother-in-law and they might run out. Yeah, no more black 350s. And maybe it's a good thing because black sometimes is hard to see when I'm doing the tutorials. Don't you think? Um, so we're gonna pretend the dark purple or this one, it's going to be the black. And then well, white I have, yeah. I'm running out of balloons, ah. <laughs> well, let's just start. So we can leave, you know, the carrot at the end because if you want, it can be holding anything. You know, it can be this time a carrot because that's what I saw in the picture, but it can be holding anything. Um, let's just start. You will see the design all the time in the back. I mean, right here, yep. Now let's start, I did this. Look, you're gonna grab a balloon, um, 350, inflate it like six finger tail, and you will need another one, so, but yeah, like both are the same probably. So let's start, you just have to make first like four finger bubble, and it's a soft bubble, okay? Trying to make it soft, another four finger bubble, and it's soft. And then these two, you're gonna twist them and make a double pinch twist. And you just grab it and twist it. So when you have that, then you're gonna make from here, it's a loop. So it's a very small loop, but it's gonna be like a loop of like three finger bubble loop here. So that's going to represent the belly. Okay? And there you go. So you're gonna keep it this way, look. You have pinch twist, a loop, and now from here you can cut the balloon. But save it because maybe you will need it and i'm not sure yet maybe maybe you will need it so just in case i'm saving it you see i just made this design as always i am excited to share it with all of you so you have this what do you think the light is too bright i don't know i charge that light and it feels like it's super bright <laughs> but it's okay let's keep going now you're gonna grab your black, or in this case, uh, dark purple, and it's gonna be inflated like a finger tail, and you're gonna make your dicks. It's gonna be like, what is this? Four finger bubble or three finger bubble? Hmm? And you're gonna make a pinch twist of that, okay? And then you're gonna lock them. That's what I'm doing, lock them. And then you're gonna make a small pinch twist. So it's maybe two, bub two finger bubble, pinch twist. That's gonna be one feet. The foot, I mean, you have that. Then you're gonna measure here, like probably mm, four or three finger bubble here, and you're gonna touch it right here. Look in between the loop and the pinch twist. I don't know if the light is too bright. Can you see? I hope so. I hope so because this is a really great tutorial or well, a great design, at least. So you pass it there, and look, then from there, you can start. Kind of like measuring here like probably four finger bubble we don't want things to be too big this time you can make this longer if you want but i'm gonna make it just like this and then i'm gonna make pinch twist and another pinch twist okay then you're just gonna go down with the same bubble four finger bubble and my intention is that if i have enough balloon and that will be the good thing if it's possible to pass it now right here so this is the loop white and we accommodate it and you have something like this so just like that you see so the good thing is this design can be can sit by itself that's the cool part it can be sitting there and you leave it and it stays there sitting now you're going to measure the same like three or four finger bubble and then you're gonna make a big pinch twist, like you can have a pinch twist, and then a small one. So 
if you don't want this to happen to you it's getting tight i had to make a little hole and then just make a, a little pinch twist you can just don't uh, inflate it too much how many fingers was like eight finger tail so you're gonna leave when you inflate your balloon like nine finger tail but if that happens to you i just make a little hole and it kind of loosen the air slowly and i'm going to be measuring like two finger bubble tie it and then make it into a pinch twist okay now we just have the feet and look ta -da! now you're going to grab the second balloon um this dark or black 350 squish it it's going to be inflated at, uh, like what six finger tail um you just gonna make first a pinch twist like two pinch twists it's one like three finger bubble pinch twist you can make it smaller if you want but i'm gonna make it like this and then i like but you don't have to make a little pinch twist here but it's not um you don't have to and we're gonna try actually don't do it and let's see what happens because from here what we need to do is we're just gonna um pass the arms you see so we need to make this squishable and bend it. So just do this thing. You, you just grab a cup a bunch here and bend it. And then you just pass um, something like that. So that is gonna measure like approximately eight finger bubble or seven, okay? And then you're gonna pass it to the pinch twist here. Now, you're gonna do the same this way, squish bend it like do this so they kind of bend in there and then you are going to measure again this is like seven finger bubble this one is going to be seven finger bubble or you can just find the middle and grab all there okay and look if you want and i think it, I, you can make a little pinch twist here I'm gonna do it just because I'm not sure. Uh, that's I did it the first time, so I'm gonna do it this time. But you don't have to, and you can keep trying to see what happens. Now you cut this, and look, with this you're probably gonna be able to make on one ear, and that's a bummer, right? Yeah. But this is a special balloon, so sometimes you have to keep uh, using more balloons. <laughs> Probably, if you make this design, instead of using 350s, you make the design using 250s, you will only need, you know, like the two balloons. But it's okay. So look, I'm just pulling out the bubble that it's uh, inside and pulling it out a little bit. So you have something like that. And look, this technique, this technique can work really good to make a baby ceiling. Don't you think? You just change color. It's not going to be a purple baby. But it's gonna be, you know, the kind of the idea of the body of, of, uh, of what? Hmm? Okay, so then you can accommodate things later, so then you will see this guy can see. But you don't have to do it right now. Now, the head. And the head, it's, um, I think you have influences from uh, Mr. Boma Balloons. Have you seen his YouTube channel? He's a really, really good balloon twister. And he has this idea to make like a, a bare head. So it's very close and I think, I don't know, some things I changed, you know, to make that design better or not, because in my mind, when I see that head, reminds me of Mr. Boma's balloon's head, or balloons. <laughs> well, let's just start this. You will need uh, the white balloon, 350, inflated eight finger tail, and then you're going to make like a bubble, like eight finger bubble, another eight finger bubble. And then you want to make another eight finger bubble, and you're gonna go through. So you just open and pass it through. And then you're gonna make another A finger bubble. And when you have that, you tie with a nozzle, make sure it's there. And then with the rest, what you need to do is stretch, okay? And then you're gonna pass it all the way around, okay? And make it a stretch and soft. It doesn't have to be so big that part. And then you just tie it all again here on the base. So this part you cut, you cut, make a, a hole there and tie it. Okay, that's a head for the panda bear, or can work for any type of bear. I mean, bear, 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 bear. <laughs> okay, 
when you have that, now uh, you can start attaching it if you want to the body. So you can start having things, you know, really all together. That's fine. Then from here, now you can start, for example, thinking um, this pandemic is going to have, for example, um, the eels, right? So we're going to need another purple 350 or if you have black, it's going to be black 350. One more. And it's just, just inflated, even, not even half that you inflated, it's like 12 finger tail because you just have to make this look. It's like a four finger bubble and you're going to tie it and doing like a pinch twist like this, look. Uh, like this okay so tie it make sure it's tight because if you don't want this to get a twist especially if you're gonna give it you know someone and they don't know and they start touching it and it's gonna get all on twist so I'm tying it in there and then look from here you can squish the air a little bit and measure kind of like one two three that's gonna be good enough three I uh, mean 12 finger uh, bubble, leave the air out. And now you're gonna make here another four finger bubble. Okay. And then you're gonna tie it again. All the way here. So you have the second ear. But what I'm doing it this way is because that is long teeth that we left, that long tail, you will see. Now this one, you don't have to leave so much, just like this. Okay, this one is gonna go all the way. This is the front. From here, goes all the way to here and goes the other side. And you just pull, and then you're gonna tie the other ear. Okay. And you can accommodate the ears in the moment. So you can just accommodate if you want right now. Oh, you can wait later, but there, let me see. I think it's better when I'm looking at it. Okay, so there you have some ear. I'm gonna leave it there, you see? So there are the ears. Now, what we have to do is the rest of the face. For that, you will need different sizes of balloons white. So we are gonna use 260 white, and you're gonna make this, look. It's again like three or four finger bubble, another three or four finger bubble. Okay. And you're gonna make a double pinch twist there. Or just two pinch twists. Then you're gonna make another pinch twist. So like a two or three finger bubble pinch twist. And then look, this is another thing that I did here. It's I'm gonna make a pinch twist here like three finger bubble pinch twist yeah it's gonna be right there on top so what i'm doing in total are four finger bubble i mean four uh, pinch twists you see four pinch twists one here two in the side and one on top yeah can you see it well i hope so then i don't know what ha should i go with this lower let me see maybe better don't you think hmm okay so now let's see what else here um then you just have to cut the balloon but leave some tail here because we're gonna attach it all like this and leave some space there you don't gonna need uh, the 260 white anymore so you're gonna pass it the front the face you go all the way and the thing is you can go and you will feel the balloon 350 from the ears. So you can go all the way up to that on top and then you go down and attach it right here. Okay. Let's see. There you go. Now I'm gonna just push it, position it down and I have this. So, you have this. Let's see the light. It's there. Okay, now here you're gonna put a little of a 160 pink. And if you don't have like right now bubblegum pink, look, it's maybe too short, but you just need to do this. This is a 260, it can be 260, 160. 
And I'm gonna use blush just to try and see what how it's gonna look. Or should go with this bubblegum pink because I think this will be the better color, right? Bubblegum pink and uh, that's your right there. So I'm gonna use this. This is just a little pinch twist. I, I did it with a 260 and it's um just a little. So I'm gonna touch into that pinch twist in the bottom. And this is a detail, you know, to make it look cute, your balloon. Okay, then I'm gonna attach now here a pinch twist that is black. So I recommend you to use 260, but if you don't have 260, look, balloon scraps, it always is good to have. I'm gonna grab one of these, and you just need to make a, a two finger bubble and make it into a pinch twist. So pull it so they have like kind of this shape, like a bean. And then you cut, leaving some uh, tail there so we can attach it right here on top. You see? Light. Should I turn it off? Because I don't know why. It's better. You can, you can see here. This is the pinch twist. You're going to touch it here. Two pinch twists right there. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. Yeah, today I woke up and I don't feel so good, but I, I thought, well, I want to make something special for my brother-in-law. And then as soon as I made it, it's like, I have to share it with you, all of you on on, on um on YouTube, don't you think? So you can accommodate things the best way you want, but this is the idea. Okay, now we have now we have this. What else we need? You can put this down, yeah? You see? You can play to put it down. Now you can leave it there and that's gonna be okay, but I think it's gonna look better if you have a balloon 160 and white and you're just gonna go around one time. Yeah, so you just put this nasal, it doesn't matter how much you know tail you leave because you're not gonna use it all. You just have to go and pull it fast and do this. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. How long is that? Approximately pim. Let me see, let me see. I'm gonna tie it up. Two, three, and two, like 16 finger bubble approximately. And you just have to pass it all the way right here. Okay. And you just tie it. You don't need this anymore. And I'm tired so you can see. <laughs> and you can cut these little things. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it so, or leave it ever. It's this, you can cut it. Yep. And then you accommodate this down. And now it's time to the last touch, the last thing. It's gonna be the eyes. And the eyes, I made them with black 160, the original. But this is gonna be all purple. So you will probably, if you have 160 purple, great. I have 160 purple. It's kind of more lavender. So you just inflate a little bit, you don't need more. I'm trying this way, look. Leave it here. So this is what I did. I made sure like four finger bubble, and then I tie the, I twist this a lot of times so then it doesn't any air escape. And twist the air, and then I'm gonna tie it. I'm gonna tie it right in the back. So it's gonna be something like this. You see? So then you and that's I like to do this, and so then you don't have to do um. You don't have to do like uh, glue, you know, glue dot. Well, then you can squish the air. Uh, you squeeze the air, look. So squish the air, approximately something like this, like four finger bubble here, squishing air, not stretching. And then you twist this, twist, 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 twist a lot of times. And then you're gonna make here another four finger bubble. And twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it many times. And squish the air, twist it, squish the air. And then you're gonna cut and tie it. So it's the same thing that we did at the beginning. So the idea is trying to make these things don't bend, you know, it's a pinch twist, just stay straight. And now we're gonna pull this and we're gonna pass it just right here, look under, you know, the 160, and we can go one time around, and, uh, and that's it. And then I just accommodate anything, because look how silly it's looking right now. So I just have to look at my design, because it's easier for me, and I just accommodate things the way I want it to look. 
and oh look at this look at this and there it goes now sharpie time it's just a dark circle with some white and then you decide what to do because the thing is the eyes you don't notice much on the pendulars but what i did is i use some white and then i color it brown with some black to give it some you know idea there so i was thinking why not to do a sticker and i have these stickers and let's see how it looks because <laughs> we are just trying and see maybe they're too little yeah maybe they are what do you think should i it's too little if you think those are too little you have the one inch rounds but um, that i already told you it's a good thing to get you can just make an eye you know or this is or just peel it out look it's like a one inch round and you just attach it well right here on the top not on the bottom on the top and then when you have those there you can then color it and make the design you want it or you can do it before while, while it's here and that's all folks look because it's purple and it's light i'm thinking i'm gonna um just go with black but the thing is at the end um you can decide what is better for you what do you prefer to do but i think this is a really cool design now for the carrot um okay it's already long so i'm gonna make something simple because my intention for for this design is like you just see how um this technique is really cute and you can also remember the things that i do doesn't have to be the things you're gonna do special because the thing i think about that youtube videos is like you don't even have to make the balloon you watch the video and then you remember some techniques that you can use it for another thing like in the future you need to make a baby i think with this technique it can be a baby easily well the eyes are horrible but there you go look it has more personality don't you think <laughs> look at that face i think it's awesome okay now the tail i don't remember i don't know but we have this left over let's offer so maybe here you just have to grab and make the tail to the end you know and then this is going to be the tail white I don't know, kind of you know, because the only thing I saw to make this design is that picture that my sister sent to me, and I can't see the tail, but I'm suggesting it's white. So you just attach it there, just the end of the leftover, remember we have? You just attach it there, and that's it. And if you want to make it in purple, that means you have to use a purple balloon that also we have leftovers, so. But people don't see that part much, you know, it's going to be the front. Now, if you want to do the carrot, this is a very easy way to make the carrot. That bit is already long, so why not keep going? So you're just going to go and grab a balloon scrap of what color? This 160 green. And then if you have this green, I mean, orange and then green leftovers, but 160 is orange. And you just inflate it just like this. And... Look, it can be as long as you want. You just grab the balloon scrap of a green. It can be 160. And then you just make like an apple twist. You just introduce it. And, and then, for example, here, I'm going to grab it. And then I pull this. I give some more air, like to this part. Twist. And then, because this guy is going to be holding, you know, this balloon. So you can be hiding that part while he starts. And here in the pinch twist so I, you just pass it and look if that came undone hmm, like it happened here it doesn't look so bad look <laughs> it came that apple twist there but it got stuck there huh well okay i think it is too long i hope you like it and look it can be holding a flower anything i hope you like this tutorial have a wonderful day Bye bye. Hey, one more thing. If you like this video, if you are enjoying all of my videos here and this awesome YouTube channel about balloon twisting tutorials, don't forget you can always donate because all you give money is very well appreciated for this channel to be better, you know. So you go um go donate to my uh PayPal account at pataglobal at gmail.com and I will appreciate it for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.